Hey there gang, your Guitar Sage. Today we're going to learn how to play Whiskey in a Jar. This is a traditional Irish tune that um, has been redone and covered for years now and probably most recently or famously, um, recently, it's been a long time, but Metallica did this tune and uh, brought a really cool new spin on it. But it's a song that you'll hear a lot in um, Irish clubs, if you're ever Irish clubbing. Um, you'll hear it there. Um, so here we go. I'm going to just jump into it right away. So for those of you that can just watch and see what I'm doing, you can get it. And for those of you that can't stick around, we'll talk about the chords and all that good stuff. Um, Alright, so here we go. It's going to go something like this. Capo. That's not comfy. Um, okay, so the chords here are G, an E minor, a C, and a D. That's the whole kid and caboodle, all right? Um, okay, so for those of you that don't know these chords or don't know the strumming or don't know how to read a chart, I'm reading the chart here off my screen. And by the way, if you want to get a hold of this chart or if you want to um, learn if you have any issues as far as strumming, chords, reading charts, using your capo, the natural number system, um, theory in general on the acoustic guitar, or on guitars in general, um, hit up yourguitarsage.com. I've got a really informative ebook there. It's about 33 pages, and it has everything in it that you need and nothing you don't. So, it's lean, my friends. Okay, so. The um, chord progression is going to do something like this. The song's in four, or four four, and so it'd be like one, two, three, four. We'll talk about uh, the strumming, right hand strumming in a minute. But basically, the verse is going to go, um, and these are all single measures, so there's no split measures. Um, each chord gets four beats, so it's like G, E minor, E minor again, C, C, G. That's the whole verse. You do that as many times as you're, you want to sing it. So again, G, G, E minor, E minor, C, C, G. G. Okay? Chorus is going to go uh, two measures of D, four measures of C, Two measures of G. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. D, D, C, 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 G, G. Okay, that is the whole tune, my kids. Alright, that's the whole tune. And it's just verse, chorus, verse, chorus, repeat until. Um, until the uh, kids of old drink a bunch of beer and all that good stuff. All right, so um, don't drink beer unless you're of age and uh, you drink moderately. It's a message from your guitar sage. Okay, so, um, or whiskey for that matter, in a jar. So let's talk about the rhythm here. It's going to go, the rhythm that I use is like, Slow it down for 
those of you that can't get that, it's going to go like this. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four. Okay? It's really important that your hand is in the right place at the right time when you're doing these strums because if not, it's going to throw your rhythm off and it's going to throw your timing off. So, uh, real important to do that kind of scoop up on the one, two, and, and, four, and. Okay? Really important that you're not going one, two, and, and, four, and. Okay, that's not right. Hand needs to always move whether you're hitting the strings or not. Okay? Should be like a grandfather clock, never stop it. But if I don't want to hit a string, I just. Doesn't matter what I'm doing, so my hand's always going to be doing that strumming rhythm, okay? So, real important. One, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and. If you didn't hear the audio, it'd be. It'd look like I was doing this. Or nothing. Okay. Really important that you do that. All right, guys. Um, that's it on this tune. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And if you haven't already, go get the ebook. It's really going to help you out. And um, by all means, go practice. All right. We'll see you soon.